Welcome back to Houston Life. For 50 years, Dickens on the Strand has been a holiday tradition that celebrates all things Victorian. I'm talking food, I'm talking drinks, music, and of course, the fancy attire. Yes, I feel underdressed I already. Know, it know. is a three-day festival that kicks off tomorrow. And joining us now are Will Wright with the Galveston Historical Foundation and Oliver Ollie Dickens. Get this, he is the great, great, great grandson of author Charles Dickens. That is incredible. Three greats and such an honor for you, I'm sure, to be constantly reminded of your uh, great, great, great grandfather's memory. Of course. Well, as soon as I come here, all the special treatment, thank you very much, Will, happens. But I always think it's unfair because the further away you get, the greater you become. So my nephews oh. are great, 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 great grandsons. So I'm just happy that I've got the lucky number three. <laughs> That's a good, yeah, it's a good yeah. amount of greats. <laughs> thank you very much. So for people who don't know, you know, Dickens on the Strand, Galveston is always doing such cool things, but you guys are being recognized by Parliament this year. It's a huge honor. So, I mean... How awesome is this going to be? How extra awesome? How great, great, great is this going to be? <laughs> All the greats. It, it's, it's an exceptional moment for us as a foundation to celebrate 50 years for an event like this. Uh, we're very proud of it, but it's a little extra special when others acknowledge that as well. And to have a, a proclamation from Parliament is, is great. We've got others from state and local representatives as well. So it's a great support of what we're very proud of. Well, right. and this year to mark the anniversary, I understand there are visiting descendants uh, who play very important roles. There's also a really cool raffle, a giveaway. You can win a trip to London, is that right? You can, so if you come to the festival, you can purchase a raffle ticket. The top prize is a four day trip to London. We're gonna make sure that you get to meet and greet descendants, have a, a appropriate Dickens themed uh, trip in London. Okay, that's an incredible giveaway. That is awesome. So it's right there in downtown Galveston and people can go, um, um, what is the what is the history behind it? Sure, downtown Galveston is the greatest framework for it. We celebrate that because of the architecture uh, of the history of the the time that Charles Dickens was writing about is right in line with the architecture of downtown Galveston. Uh, it makes for a great backdrop that we don't have to recreate. We get to be surrounded by it and uh, celebrate the, the history of Galveston in a really unique way. Wow. It's so cool to see these these photos. Yeah. And for a lot of us who know Galveston and the Strand and Sanger Fest and all of the, the landmarks today, I think f some people might be surprised to know that this festival really started to revitalize the area. I mean, this Victorian architecture that is down there on the Strand, 50 years ago, it was a very different situation, Will, than it is today. Absolutely, so it was a, initially a preservation effort to bring awareness to an area that needed that attention. Uh, it worked. It was one of many pieces that were uh, happening in the community and across the nation as well uh, to bring awareness to areas like this. Uh, we benefit from that work today, and we get to do it in a really uh, fun, unique way this weekend. It's such a special moment. And Ollie, you've been coming for five years. You bring your family. Um, what, what keeps you coming back? Uh, well, the big guy, really. <laughs> uh, but no, the, the people. The, that, see, I always tell my friends back home, it's so different, it wouldn't work in England. I think just being a Londoner, being on the tube, nobody makes eye contact. If you speak to somebody, you're an alien. <laughs> Whereas in Galveston, in, in America as a whole, Everybody gets involved. Everybody has wonderful conversations with each other on the Strand or Mechanic or anywhere else in, in the grounds. And it really works because the hospitality is there and people want to have these exchanges. And that keeps me coming back year in, year out. And Ollie, is it true that you came as a young child? Your parents brought you to Dickens on the Strand? To yes. Experience? What do you remember from that time? Well, my first role was Tiny Tim, which went down quite well. <laughs> uh, but there used to be a feast annually, which used to be very late on. So if I was still awake at about 10 p.m., I would kind of finish it with God bless us, everyone, in a very high-pitched British accent, which went down quite well. Nice. And I think that probably spurred my ego on a little bit too much as a, as a child. <laughs> wow. But no, it was fantastic fun. And that that's kind of where my, my love for Galveston began. Oh, that's so special. And I'm glad that we're hospitable Texans as we are, right? And we keep him coming back. Thank you. So, so if you wear this Victorian era style of clothing, you can get into the event for half off, is that right? You can get in for half off. We do that for a couple of reasons. One, it's a great excuse to put on a costume, which we're never ashamed of doing in Galveston. Uh, two, it helps us set the scene. So you don't have to be an actor portraying anything, but you can come down in some form of costume and really take part in something that 
uh, that makes it a little bit more special. People that are apprehensive about it, we always say if you just try it one time, you'll never, you'll never not come in a costume. It's a great way to come experience the Strand in Dickens. It, it, totally. Awesome. Well, I'm glad you said that because when you dress up and you are part of the party, it truly is an experience. I know for so many people who come year after year, this is really a holiday tradition for them. It's the way they kick off the season. So get on out there. You'll be <laughs> glad you did. Will Wright, Ollie Dickens, what an honor to have Thank you both you here in Pleasure Studio B. Thank you. Yeah, and have a blast this weekend. We'll Thank see you, you there. See a reminder you there. that yes. Dickens on the Strand kicks off tomorrow and runs through this Sunday, December 3rd. For a link with more info, you can visit our website, HoustonLife.tv.